It was standing room only tonight for a forum about Connecticut's opiate epidemic. Experts laid out the startling statistics of this frightening and growing problem. Fox 61's Katie Carrado was at the forum in Middletown. She joins us now with a story. Katie? Audrey and Brent, there was so much concern about heroin at this meeting from both the experts on the panel who deal with drug addiction on a daily basis to those in the community who want to be part of the solution. So the opiate epidemic in Connecticut hits close to home for Michael Mitchell. In the past year, I've lost four friends to opioid uh, overdose. A recovering addict himself, Mitchell was among a packed room of people at Middletown's Community Health Center attending a forum about the growing use of opiates in our state. Just me losing four friends. I can only imagine the rest of the people, how many people they've lost as a result of opioid addiction. The number of heroin-related overdose deaths climbing 20 percent from 2014 to 2015 in Connecticut. The experts say much of the heroin is coming from Hartford, where prices are low, and that adolescents are most vulnerable. The average heroin user these days is a 24-year-old Caucasian male living in the suburbs. One of the pathways that unintentionally leads people to heroin, perhaps surprisingly, is dental work. You might have had a tooth extracted and you got a large bottle of opioids, and then all of a sudden, you were addicted, and it was a gateway to other drugs. The experts caution that physicians need to be careful about how they prescribe painkillers and that the conversation about the problem needs to continue. We need people to continue to talk about it and lawmakers to talk about it. And the more it gets out there, the more people are going to reach out and say, you know, I have a problem. I could use some help. Now, the doctors also stress the importance of Narcan used to reverse the effects of a heroin overdose. They're hoping to get more kids out onto the streets so they can save more lives and hopefully then get more people into treatment. Katie Carrado, Fox 61 News.